The ro- the that's washroom what? is that a is that a Canadian thing? Sort of. <laughs> we we just call the shit up. Like who cares? <laughs> I call it a toilet. A la toilet. Call it brown town. <laughs> <Doing brown town. laughs> you see brown town as something else, and I wouldn't say that in public. <laughs> <laughs> Up, like well, it's <laughs> yeah. I have the podcast recording right now because I'm too lazy to stop it and have it stop working again. Oh, <laughs> so this is going to be like the the outtakes part. <laughs> the Vita <laughs> Lounge, up at We noise. definitely need outtakes because <laughs> some of the shit is funny. <laughs> I don't care <laughs> well, if you slap that's... explicit on it. That's so cool. <laughs> I'm yeah, down that, that's with that. Why we just, that's why, Tyler, you're supposed to record as soon as we start talking. <laughs> Don't blame the pinched Pamela for your problems. Okay, Pamela's working now, so we're all right. Good. Fine we enough. sorted out our differences. Did you put I'm your wedge ring back on or what? <laughs> yeah. Bloody androgynous avatar confusing me. <laughs> okay, I'm back. We were waiting. And I heard something on the way down about the washroom. <laughs> Somebody was mocking my use of the word washroom. He was I saying, mean, is that a Canadian thing? Yeah, it's not a Canadian <laughs> yeah, thing. Well, we call it the shit restroom or washroom, but technically a washroom is a, a toilet or a room with a toilet that also has a shower. Yeah, it's like... Get ready for a few silence moments then. Uh, <laughs> as long as have a little effort and group. funny at the same time. <laughs> Alright, I'm plugging my Vita in because I want to. I so would plug my Vita in, but I'm too lazy to get up. <laughs> In Portugal, in the island of Portugal, where my dad's from, they all were given toilet, like uh, bathrooms by the the government. Like they were given bathtubs because they weren't bathing enough. Um, <laughs> half the villagers were, so, were didn't know what to do with the bathtubs. They didn't they didn't want to wash because they lived so close to the sea. They didn't wash in the sea, so they filled it up with fish and they'd raise fish and put <laughs> in the bathroom. Oh, Sounds man. delicious. I, I love the idea that pe- people somehow manage to give people these things and then are like, they don't tell you what to do with them. <laughs> it's it's like, come on, people, idiot proof your stuff. No, it, was, it wasn't it was that they didn't know what to do with it. It was like, what the fuck is the point of this? We live right next to the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Although, to be surprised, I'm surprised they didn't start brewing beer or something. No, fish is more important to a Portuguese people than beer. Portuguese Fish and wine. Drink wine, right? Yeah. Yeah, Portuguese will drink wine. <laughs> All right. So back to starting this podcast. Also, my PS3's been on for like <laughs> half an hour, an automatic update. I got no idea what the hell it's doing. Porn. <laughs> update that porn. Yeah, that, that that would be nice. Automatic porn download. If we start hearing girls make noise in the background, we'll just kick you out of the call so you can take care of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> take care of stuff. Yeah, he's got to pay the bills, is... Jasper. What were you thinking? Everything is porn. Alright. Everyone ready? No. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm ready. I'm ready. Alright, so let's start with the monotone intro. Oh, come on! <laughs> I'm trying. No, not the monotone <laughs> intro. My PS3 started up again. <laughs> <laughs> Pull the plug. Put it out of its misery. I'm just gonna leave it. If I don't touch it, it won't annoy me. Yeah. All right. The whole of the fine of these three. Great <laughs> mumbling there, Jasper. <laughs> yeah, so I, I don't know. If, maybe, maybe he's not aware. Maybe you're. Maybe you don't know. But your mic is pretty muffled. Yeah, I I do know. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> yeah, Brian. Geez. So you did that. I'm on sorry, I stuck up for you then. 
<laughs> what the fuck are you thinking? <laughs> Let's see, right. dude. Be believe. <laughs> it's the last time I stand up for you, Jasper. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my mic is terrible. No, it wasn't your mic. You were just like, he sounded, I don't know. Like, you were upset about something. <laughs> well, I don't no, want to say I, I was, what I, I thought it sounded like. <laughs> I, oh, go I, ahead. Was, I was mumbling, yeah. Is someone typing? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're honest, alright. Yeah, could we, like, start? Why is that funny? But, uh, yeah, yeah. We keep getting sidetracked. <laughs> Yeah, okay, yeah. Tyler. Yes. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Alright. <laughs> <All right. laughs> you guys can't make me laugh during the intro. Alright, I need absolute silence. Let this actor act. That's Let me just cue up my tiger sound for the podcast. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Every time you talk, Tyler, I'm gonna play the Tie Fighter sound. Oh, get out of here! Uh. <laughs> God damn it! All right, I'm starting. No cracking any jokes. All right, three, two, one. Hey everyone, and welcome to the VitaCast episode six. We're recording on November twenty sixth, two thousand thirteen. I'm your host. Tyler Oltoff, and I have with me Kyle. Hey, what's going on, guys? And Jasper is also here. Okay, maybe not. Like derailed it right away. <laughs> I'll try that again. And Jasper's here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I had to suppress a laugh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like laughing quietly during the <laughs> intro. <laughs> LQTM guys. LQTM. I, was, I was trying. To, I was trying to hold this well, but my pants me. <laughs> oh god, this is gonna be a long episode. <laughs> well, it's not going to be a long episode. It's going to be a long recording. <laughs> well. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, I can, I can talk again, so let's, let's start. That's good. <laughs> We've started already, go ahead. Oh. Introduce yourself. <laughs> I am Jasper. Jasper. Hey. <laughs> and we also have Brian. Hey, what's going on, everybody? That was a, you had a dramatic pause almost. You got me worried. Uh-oh. All right. And we have a special guest, Yuki. How's it going, Yuki? <laughs> Oh, wait. With the bloody chibi rise special. avatar. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Our special guest is Ben, and I forgot your last name already. <laughs> just I'm going to try to say it. Blue Maxima. People know me by All that right. name, so. I don't think I've ever <laughs> okay. said my full name on a video. That's a good thing. <laughs> Ma- All right, so Maxima Blue is Maxima. the Dutch princess queen. Is the a what? Dutch, Dutch, what are Dutch queen. Welcome to Dutch history with the Vita guy. <laughs> <laughs> Starring an Australian who's apparently Dutch. <laughs> yep. All right. Anyways. <laughs> so, Blue Maxima, you are a YouTuber. Uh, would you like to talk a bit about what you do on the tubes? Not really, but I guess I can fill you in. So, <laughs> I'm a YouTuber. Duh. And <laughs> I do PlayStation Vita, Vita videos do weekly news roundups and video capture directly using a capture kit, which my audience actually paid for. That that was awesome. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and I just passed 4,100 and something subscribers this morning, so... Congratulations. Watch out, I'm catching up to you. (laughs) With how many? I I have only at like 830. (laughs) Oh, boo-hoo, are you? Hey, get, Jasper, I don't want to hear your shit today. <laughs> God, not only does he have a butler name, that sounds like something you'd say to one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so so anyways, let's get back on track before Jasper derails it again. Good lord. Or my PS3 restarts, one or the other. <laughs> Whichever comes first. 
So, uh, what made you want to start doing, uh, videos? To be perfectly honest, I have no goddamn idea. <laughs> <laughs> That's alright. One day, browsing around r slash Vita. Oh yeah, by the way, 20,000, um, subscribers to the r slash Vita subreddit, so, yay. And, nice. yeah, and I mod that, and back in the day I didn't. I had barely anything to do with the place, and then I just started... I made one video, which was, like, absolutely awful. But people liked it, and I got, like, 300 subscribers in a week. And I'm like, well, I better keep going with this, otherwise I'm going to have my balls torn off. <laughs> yeah. Like, it was the, the shittiest thing ever. I, I was using Windows Audio Recorder, and it sounded terrible. It was using black text and white background. I was using a Photoshop logo. A, a, not even a Photoshop logo. A logo made with paint. It, <laughs> I was in the same boat when I first started my channel, so I feel you. <laughs> yeah, I am. Um, I've, I've gotten a lot better over the past 72 weekly updates. 72? Yeah. Jesus Christ, I've wasted my life! <laughs> yeah, it's crazy to think. I, I think I started back in uh, April, I want to say, of last year. And I, <laughs> time just flies by when you do this. It's crazy. It really does. <laughs> Well, that's a good thing All about right. that, though, is that it makes games come out faster. <laughs> Can't argue yeah, with that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. It's definitely nice to have that uh, benefit. <laughs> All right, so if, is there anything else you'd want to talk about about your channel or anything that you're doing or um, any plans for the future of your channel? Well, any plans? Well, I've still got that gauntlet series that I've been meaning to do where I take on people and give them gift cards or something if they win. But can't That's really cool. do well. I can't really do that until um all these game releases slow down because like I can't afford anything decent to give <laughs> out because all these games are coming out. Um, please tell me you're recording by the way because I'm not doing that again. <laughs> <laughs> I am recording. We're 12 minutes in. Oh God. <laughs> um, but yeah. Other than that, uh, subscribe at youtube.com forward slash blue maxima c zero nine nine. Uh. Other than that, I'm not sure what else. All right. Is that well, nine, nine in the number, or is that nine yes. nine in German? He's the zero. Okay. Nine nine in German. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Blue. Well, he is. Hello, Dutch, this is Blue Maxima C zero nine nine. <laughs> <laughs> the Dutch Australia. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Well, yeah, you can uh, find him on the YouTubes and on Twitter at Blue Maxima. This is going to be an absolute so. disaster, isn't it? That's all right. It's a it's a beautiful disaster. <laughs> like you. No? Whoa! Keep Jasper, I thought I told you to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Keep waxing poetic, Tyler. <laughs> I, I will. Hey, Anyways, yeah, let's, uh, Tyler, you, just, you have to give me, like, the uncensored version of this so I can put it up on my channel. <laughs> That's yeah, I'll do that for you, no problem. Right. <laughs> All right. So we let's let's head on to what we've been playing. Uh, I've been playing just a couple games on the Vita. Uh, been playing a ton, a ton of Tearaway. That just came out recently, and I'm loving it. Uh, I've also been playing. Um, now nah, I forgot what it was. Damn it. <laughs> forgot what it was. What that is is that an interesting game? Forgot what it was. <laughs> You know, it's I can't really remember if it's good or not. <laughs> I lost my copy. Oh. Alright, hold on. I'm going to look at my Vita right now. Oh! Huh, didn't even have to look. I played some more uh, Rayman Legends because of the uh, DLC, or not DLC, the, the update that brought the invasion levels back. Or not back, but actually brought them to the Vita. Tried those out, and it was alright. <laughs> they should have had it <laughs> from the beginning. I played one level, and I was like, okay. That was fun. Went back to Tearaway. But that's about all I've been playing. So, uh, uh, Kyle, you been playing anything? Yeah, I've been playing a lot, actually. What a week. Um, bouncing back and forth like crazy person between Ridge Racer and Need for Speed at the start of the week. Uh, then Spider-Man showed up, and I kind of lost myself in it because it's actually pretty good other than the, the actual make of the game. Um, I, I, I found like the actual mechanics to be much better than the overall game. Um, the, the fighting setup was done well. The graphics were just subpar. It just kind of didn't come together right, but it was still fun to play. Uh, there's lots of frame drops. 
uh, low resolution textures, jagged edges, short draw distances. Um, pretty I'm much pretty everything sure the game can't get any worse. Well, pretty much everything that's <laughs> wrong with the game is graphical. Like, if they would issue a patch or something to fix it, um, it would really actually be a good game because, like, swinging around, uh, the physics of the whole thing, it works very well. And, like, the, the new features with the web, um, uh, like, you can snap to a location with your web. Uh, it's, it's, it's awesome for moving around the city, but the whole game itself, it's kind of broken because of the graphical errors. So it kind of sucks. Uh, other than that, I've been playing Tearaway, which showed up yesterday, and I kind of lost myself in that last night, so <laughs> <laughs> lots yeah, of games. Just, um, just a question related to The Amazing Spider-Man. You might not have seen it, but did you watch my video on it? Because I'm pretty sure I went right through a building. <laughs> in my yeah. video, I'm pretty sure I went right through a building. <laughs> yeah, I had I had a similar kind of funny error. Um, you know, like the the top of the building sometimes they have like the the antennas on them. Um, yeah. Yeah, I swung to one and then I jumped as I like got to it and Spider Man actually got stuck right in like the pole and I couldn't get out of it like no matter what I did until I used the the, the web shoot pull and it pulled me out of it finally. But I couldn't figure out how the hell to get out of it even jumping and stuff. He was stuck in it. It was pretty weird. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Coding errors. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> Is that all you've been playing, Kyle? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Awkward says the guy with the bloody avatar that I can't tell if it's a male or a female. <laughs> and that's edited out. <laughs> uh, go ahead, Brian. Let's see what you've been playing. Let's see. Oh, okay, well, let's listen to what you've been playing. <laughs> let's li- okay, uh, shut uh, up. <laughs> so... We announced last week on that podcast. Sorry, was I saying something? <laughs> Go ahead, Brian. Maybe you need to shut up, then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Jasper stood up for himself. So, going back to, I don't know, the purpose of the podcast. Um, last week, we announced that we, we'd be uh, covering PlayStation Mobile titles, so I've been playing a bit of those, uh, including Penguin Party and Monster Hotel. Um, but like everybody else, it seems on the podcast, I've been taken over by Tearaway and it's consumed my life. Uh, I had to pull myself away from it actually, because I tried to make all these paper inventions in real life and it started to take over my universe and I started to make clothing out of paper and it just didn't turn out well. (laughs) Um, my girlfriend threatened to leave me after I showed up to her family dinner wearing a, a paper shirt and yeah, it wasn't good. So right now I'm just trying to take a little break from Tearaway and jump right back into the PlayStation mobile stuff. But that's it for me. I, I can't help but ask, did you make paper pants? Paper pants? No, I, I, you, I, I'll, I'll forgive you because you're I don't know. I don't wear pants very often. Oh, <laughs> so no, you it, walked it, into your um, girlfriend's party or whatever wearing no pants and a paper shirt. I imagine that went over pretty well. Well, um, there's a nudist community. It would go well in a nudist community. It might actually go <laughs> bad. It might get up my shirt. <laughs> but no, it actually turned out pretty well. I got all the little kids to sign the shirt. Right? It works out well. I got. I give Why are you some... around little kids with no pants? <laughs> and, 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 you, and you smacked them in the face every time you turned around. Well, <laughs> but you guys are making this into something weird. I was just wearing a paper shirt. With pants. It was, it was, it was nothing weird about that. So can we, can we move on. Very uh, defensive right there. Brian. <laughs> uh. So if you see yeah. Brian out and about, call one eight hundred Crime Stoppers. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the most Canadian about I heard in my life. So we were joking before we went live that Canadians have accents, and Kyle just proved it. He said, "Out in a boat." A boat. <laughs> a boat. I don't even say a boat regularly. I just say boat. <laughs> well, I, I don't want to even say anything about my accent. But... <laughs> what accent? <laughs> <laughs> <You're being serious? laughs> all right let's move on let's move on there's other people on this podcast to go to oh yeah like me thank you brian no let's go to ben <laughs> <laughs> i just ignore them yeah <laughs> i'm kidding go ahead jasper go ahead yeah okay uh well i've been playing the terroid demo i've been extremely busy but i did find some time to play the terroid demo and well i was blown away so well, initially I thought that I maybe wasn't going to buy the game, but as soon as I opened the demo and 
played around for a few minutes, I was sold. It's really, really good. I really want it. So, yeah, oh yeah, and I've played a few matches of Killzone and horribly hum humiliated myself, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is just gonna be a, a tear away podcast, isn't it? Pretty and oh, by the way, if anybody makes the the um the pun, I had to be torn away from it. I will kill <laughs> every single one of you with my bare hands. All right, let's tear away from Jack. Oh, <laughs> can, can we go back to Ben? Well, yeah. I, uh, <laughs> Did anybody notice I, that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Do you have anything else, Jasper? <laughs> Yeah, not really. <laughs> Alright, go Got ahead, him Ben. Up. <laughs> oh, well, I actually thought Yuki would go first, but whatever. Go ahead, um, Yuki. Oh. <laughs> I'll try not to interrupt this swear. <laughs> we'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think Yuki's done. Go ahead, Ben. Yep, Yuki's good. Go ahead, Ben. Yeah, where is Yuki? He doesn't have a mic, remember? <laughs> no, he's not even typing anything. What did he do? Did he start playing Rainbow Moon and not listen to us? Bastard. <laughs> um, Alright, so what have I been playing this week? Well, bloody tear away, obviously. Couldn't tear me away from that game. <laughs> <laughs> but <oops. laughs> Oh, that was stupid. Um, I've also been playing a lot of Killzone, actually. I've been hopping into a few multiplayer matches every night. And pretty much the moment I start sucking, I just quit. So, you know, if if I've ever Pretty raged quit from a game, that was probably me. <laughs> last night, so I got killed, like, five times in a row by the same Manus engine. And, like, I'm standing there constantly shooting. And the weird thing with Killzone's um, Manus engines is that you're, if you're lagging, your auto-aim just, like, goes up towards the ceiling. So you're looking straight upwards, and then you just see a full Manus engine in the face, and then you just fall backwards. Yeah, then don't lag. Yeah, I've never experienced that. Yeah, Why that's I'm, the internet. I, well, I'm region logged to the US server, so I'm going to leave. Um, leave. I'm not going to leave. <laughs> I'm, I'm in the podcast. I, I'm, I lag <laughs> anyway, so. And I've also been playing some Wipeout, some Smart As. Um, have you guys played Smart As? Can I, can I just ask you something? I have not. Which but you still can't ask me something. Kyle, Brian, have you guys played it? No. <laughs> smart. Oh, Smart <laughs> As, yeah. Um, yeah, have you yeah, played I play a little bit, li little bit of it. It's it's, it's quite fun actually. Well, um, I am. Um, yeah. What what was your um highest brain score, if I can ask? I have no idea, but probably through the roof. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, One <confident>. million. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got um ninety three percent last night, and I was off my face, and I somehow managed to do it. So that's a thing. Um, anyway, other than that, I'm not sure. So, yeah, that's that's a thing. Um, if Yuki wants to come back and do his bit now. <laughs> he, he's got like a, he's got like this, um, this chibi rise from Risei from Persona 4, like the Persona Q unveil. So I'm having trouble separating the idea that Yuki is a man and a woman in my, in my mind at the same time. Just because of that avatar. <laughs> just we, like we Tyler. Don't what you... Get out. We don't know what he is. <laughs> It's like Hold a... on, he's typing. Yuki is Yuki. It's a special so gender. He's his own gender. Well, Instead of having stuff, he has nothing. <laughs> <laughs> More typing, what do you got to say this time? We're still waiting and typing. More so like any other well, that was, <laughs> that was dramatic and had no payoff. <laughs> Well, like Tyler's sex well, life. Uh, <laughs> oh, ha! Oh. <laughs> That's hurtful. Um, that is when did Tyler get a sex life? <laughs> he pays for wow. it, okay? <laughs> Don't bring him down now. I am. I'm ashamed. <laughs> <laughs> They're so hurtful to me, Bra uh, Ben. Well, I, I'd be more hurtful, but I'm afraid you'd kick me out of the podcast for real. <laughs> Anyways, let's before I get insulted some more, let's head on to the new releases for this week. Woo. Brian. Alright, so this week we don't have any news about European releases, but we do have four North American titles on, on the docket. And uh, first off, we're going to talk about the full-fledged Vita title, Atlas Published, Wise Memories of Chilchetta. Um, 
<laughs> forgive my Italian accents there. Um, yeah, that's the it only... Just comes out. That was so much yeah, better it... in rehearsal. That was awful. <laughs> Sorry. Jesus you... Christ, that would have... That would have been actually a good joke if you did it properly. Jesus, man. All right, okay, let's, let's rewind. Let's rewind. And here we are with the new releases with Brian. Yeah, this week. <laughs> <laughs> Big fail whale over here. Fresh. Okay, start one, one more time. What's this? <clears throat> and the new releases with Brian. Oh, wow, that was impressive. Um, this week, <laughs> we don't have any European games to talk about, but we do have some North American titles on the docket. And the first one we're going to talk about is a full-fledged Vita title published by Atlas. It's the Japanese title, but Italian game-wise, Memories of Chocchetta. Uh, <laughs> we also oh, have... Oh, shit! We should just abandon this joke. Just pull the lever and run. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, apart from our stupid joke of a title, we also have um, <laughs> two PS1 classics. We have Metal Gear Solid, Don't Get Excited, VR Missions. Uh, yes. we also, <laughs> I'm we sorry, also have... I have the right to be excited. I haven't played that game in ages, and I've been looking for a reason to replay it. Well, there you go. <laughs> uh, we also have Odd World. Sorry, Jasper? I said it was Excuse a horrible me. reason. Okay. What? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we also have our world a box that box with two X's in case you're keeping score, which contains not only the two X's but also Abe's Odyssey and Abe's Exodus. And we also have this week on PlayStation Plus the lovely Soul Sacrifice is free, so pick that up. That's um that's not the word I would use to describe Soul Sacrifice. <laughs> well, you weren't the one describing no, I, it. So. Well, no, I wouldn't call it lovely. I'd call it bloody scary. But um, oh, that's true. Maybe yeah, just, it's lovely to just, certain just, people. Just don't go misleading people. Don't tell people. Oh, it's all <laughs> sacrifice. It's a game about flowers and bunnies, and you get to ride pigs around, just like in Terra White. Sorry. And then they go the in. Who described the game from Japan with an Italian accent? <laughs> and you're telling me not to mislead people? <laughs> Have you heard me pronounce Yggdrasil? <laughs> that, that is how you pronounce Yggdrasil. What? I don't care if it's pronounced Yggdrasil, Vagisil. I don't care. I pronounce things the way I want. He's Canadian. Yeah, that's all right. It's our Ryan, friend. giving you Canadian I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear how you pronounce Virginia. That could go wrong in so many ways. <laughs> what, Virginia. Don't, don't ask. Just yeah, everybody's well, waiting for me to say it, but I'm not going to say it. I'm not your monkey, okay? <laughs> I kind of want you to, just because I know Tyler will let it out and it'll be on my channel, so. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that's all we, all the new releases we have, Brian? That's it. Alright, no sales that we know of? Um, Not that I know of, not that they don't exist. Okay. All right. Let's <laughs> <on>. <laughs> Putting you on the spot. I believe there's Dynasty Warriors titles on sale, but there's only like really? two of them. And there's nothing else. Yeah, I think so. Which ones? I think it's six and seven. I I'm sorry, my uh, my ears just perk up like a dog every time I hear Dynasty Warriors. <laughs> Some someone acknowledging it. <laughs> Dynasty it's a shame Warriors. It's the two shit ones. <laughs> I actually have um I have Dynasty Warriors eight uh Extreme Legends, also known as Shin Sengoku Musu Seven Mushu Den on import from Japan because it it actually comes out like in two days. Can you repeat that title? <laughs> Shin Sengoku Musu Seven Mushu Den. It's um the rough translation is Dynasty Warriors eight Extreme Legends. I got okay, that once at a Japanese restaurant, that? it was delicious. <laughs> Oh, can you repeat that title, Brian? If you take, I <laughs> promise you, if you type it out in the chat, I will attempt to say it. Sure. Okay. Hold on. Shin San Goku Musu. It doesn't work if you tell me how it's pronounced. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, it's written out. Go ahead. Say All it, right. Brian. So this is a legitimate try. I'm assuming you be good in. And, you know, Listen, I need to focus. It takes a lot of effort. <laughs> All right. All right. Take your focus in, Not waste any more time. It's Shin Sengoku Masu. I assume no! that's a 7 and not an X down L. It's um, Musu, not Masu. 
Masu, Mushu, um, <laughs> Mushu Den. That's pretty close. That's yeah, really fast. Sort of. <laughs> yeah, three times. That really fast. Three times. All right, I'll say it really fast one time. Shin Sakutu Masu Seven. You almost made it. You tripped at the finish line. I tripped before the seven. The seven's intimidating because it's English. <laughs> I know I know how to say seven. I know that. Yeah, it's the easy. One thing that's in English, you trip on it. <laughs> you trip the one. Well, like, Brian I'm is going to be joining us as a text representative from now on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's move on uh, to the news. So uh, there's a few games that got confirmed and now have some release dates. Um, Terraria got dated for December 4th and has cross by so if you have the PS3 version, you'll be able to get the Vita version for free. Okay. And Something I got a little bit con- um, confused about. I thought we'd be talking about these topics individually. I may be an idiot for thinking that, but... <laughs> um, I- I'll kind of go through them, and if you guys have anything you want to talk about, then you'll just speak up. Well, fair Pardon. enough. I have a really bad memory, and like as soon as you say something else, I just focus on your avatar again, and like completely... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, did you do you have something to say about Terraria? No, but I'm just just. <laughs> so you interrupted me for no reason. <laughs> no, I have nothing to say, but it's pronounced Terraria. Okay, Terraria. <laughs> Terraria. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's Lou right. Maxima interrupting the TVL podcast since 2013. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's. Uh, Does that mean oh, I can't get to keep coming back? <laughs> If you can somehow find a way to interrupt us, sure. Since and until. All right. Does Does anyone know if that's coming to the U.S. as well? Because December fourth yeah. is a Wednesday. Yeah. Um, would be. Um, it is. It's December third the and December fourth to um, America and Europe. All right. Cool. <laughs> All right. If it wasn't, I'd have to hunt you down and kill you in your sleep. Why me? I don't know. You're confusing, <laughs> you're confusing me with your avatar. You deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to change it. (laughs) (laughs) Hold on. I'm busy. Give me a second. Well, thank goodness you're not the host of a podcast or something, Tyler. (laughs) What's he he doing? Otherwise, that might be a problem. I'm (laughs) changing my avatar. Give me a second. I'm just looking behind me to make sure he doesn't come and stab me. (laughs) (laughs) And give me one more minute. Damn, I don't have any pictures of me. I'm not that self-centered. Where? Yeah, is, sure. You know. Yeah, you mean? Okay, Jasper. You, you mean you <laughs> I don't, don't care have anymore. any? <laughs> <laughs> I don't care anymore. Anyways, let's continue. Yeah. You're just gonna have to deal with my beautiful picture. Um, let's head on to the next portion of releases. Uh, Demon Gaze and Dan can get Dan. Brian, help me out here. Dan and Rumpa, goddamn it. <laughs> Dengen All right, Rumpa? Dan Gan Ron. Yes. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Send your Japanese games to the Vita Lounge. <laughs> Trigger Happy Havoc, anyways, is coming west with Japanese and English voiceovers. Uh, Demon Gaze is headed uh, for March 25th, 2014, and the Dan Gans are February 18th, 2014. Uh, does anyone is anyone interested in those games at all? Me, 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 me. Um, Dan Gan- <laughs> I'm sorry. Care to elaborate? <laughs> <laughs> well, I would, but I've got so much phlegm built up in my throat and laugh. <laughs> Stop looking at my picture, you weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure so you've got phlegm. Brian's voice, your picture, Jasper just being there, Yuki not being there, and that somehow being funny, and Kyle. But, um, I actually, um, Dan Gan Romper was written by the same people who wrote 999 and Virtue's Last Reward, so I will support them in any way. I actually downloaded the um the English patch for the original Dan Gan Romper PSP game, then like an hour after they announced they were bringing it to America. And I'm like, <laughs> what? I feel no. so... Uh, nine, nine, nine? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Brian just wrote that in text. Nine, nine, nine. <laughs> Add in the German nine, nine, nine. It's the German yeah, version of German. six, six, six. <laughs> They're backwards nine, nine, and upside nine, down yeah. anyway. 
<laughs> but yeah, I will support um, Spike Chunsoft in pretty much anything they bring over here. They actually made a um, this thing where it's like a, a sound novel that I played a demo of on my channel at some point, and basically all I was doing was laughing at the fat guy's silhouette. Because it was all in <laughs> Japanese, so I couldn't understand anything, so it was just basically just a crazy motion sensor game, and this fat guy's silhouette that I would cackle at every time it came on screen. So basically, Tyler's avatar, but fatter. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna want to kill me by the end of this. Literally, he's gonna he's gonna get on a plane, come over and stab me on podcast. You gotta write it out on your front it? door and come right at you. <laughs> oh, and Jasper's just typing one one one. I want to talk, please. <laughs> Go ahead, Jasper. <laughs> so Jasper, yes, please. I'm sorry. Yes, okay, like, stop breaking the fourth wall. There's no chat. We're all in the same room, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. But, uh, uh, people would love the back behind-the-scenes stuff. Back the scenes? No. Okay, Jasper, go back ahead. Scene. I promise yeah, yeah, not to yeah. interrupt. Well, so I'm I'm interested now because you said it was made by Spike Chunsoft, and I didn't know that. But I think 909 and Virtus Last Reward were really good games, so I'm interested to see how this story turns out. Yeah, that's I'm all. I little, have. I'm just a little unhappy they didn't bring over um Super Dangan Romper Two, which is a bit weird. Why call it Super Dangan Romper Two? <laughs> okay, I um about to go I there. Not heard. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm a, okay. Apparently, I'm a weirdo. But anyway, move on. Sorry. Okay, well, I have a question about the game. Uh, I played Virtue's Last Reward and. I liked it at first, but then I got kind of bored. Is it going to be similar? Like, if I played this, would I get bored? Uh, well, it's <laughs> not the same. Well, I'm not really sure, because to be perfectly honest, as soon as I announced the English translation, I stopped playing. But from what I know of um, Dan Gan Romper, it's probably for the same sort of people who thought VLR was a masterpiece, i.e. me. So, okay. yeah. So I, I should probably ignore it. <laughs> well, I mean, like, if you have a hacked PSP... You might be able to... Oh. <laughs> well, you have a living life then. I'm sorry. Um, I'm just I just sold my PSP. I'm just going to grab this pillow here and just put it on top of your avatar and pretend you're dying. Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that you haven't was, lived you... if you haven't hacked the PSP at some point in your life. <laughs> Anyways, that That's, took a dark turn. <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> <laughs> what about Demon Gaze? Anyone gazing at that one? Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of uh, yeah, I'm thinking of grabbing a pillow now too, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I um, I'm I'm actually in with um the guys at Nicer, so. Hopefully I'll be able to get my hands on Demon Gaze, and hopefully I'll like it. Okay. Other than that. Alright, let's tear ourselves away from that. Oh! <laughs> okay. Conception. Eventually, at the end of this podcast, we're both just going to be flying towards each other in separate planes, and we're both going to jump out of the planes and try and just stab each other in mid-air before we pull our deaths. <laughs> at this rate. Uh, I'm up for the challenge. Tyler already right. went Super Saiyan. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can see that by his hair. <laughs> also, when sexually ambiguous. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> Speaking of babies, let's head on to Conception 2. Children of the Seven is coming Children west. Children of the Seven yeah. Stars. I should have pointed that out, but I didn't. The anyway, let's edit that out. Seven. Conception 2. <laughs> I'm sorry, I gotta keep these things <laughs> down. I'm anal retentive like that. That's all it's all good. Really? Anyways, it's coming to the West and its release date is April eighth, twenty fourteen. So I'm assuming you make babies. Is that it? Um, that is pretty much it. I actually played the demo of that and I have less of an idea that's going on than you do, probably. Is it as bad as uh, Valhalla Knights with the touching of the girls? Do you have to interact no. with anyone? No, God no. <laughs> there's, there's actually an RPG out in um, Japan right now called Extestra, or it's something like I'm gonna just write Extestra. it out in the chat. Um, Extestra. E I'm pretty sure. I think that's how you spell it. E X S T E R A. 
How the hell do you pronounce that just by looking at the word? Xterra? Xterra? Xterra. Xterra. Oh, Xterra. Wait, no, I think I missed, I think I missed the T. Yeah, it's but supposed anyway, to be Petra. You, oh, yeah, well, anyway, you, um, you actually kiss girls to do special attacks, and if you do badly, it's like being impotent, and you get less of an attack. <laughs> Sounds like well, Brian's kind of game. Oh, oh it's oh, really oh, Brian's kind of game, because you can kiss so guys, crazy. too. Come <laughs> on. I mean, you, you, can't, you can't you guys be guys. aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's bring it back to conception. Uh, <laughs> so you just you make children, and what do you do with these said children? Um, they're like party members. Okay. Basically. Yeah, it's um. I had a little bit of trouble figuring it out. Someone else probably could do a more thorough look at it than I did, but. Yeah, it is basically your basic, 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 basic dungeon crawling RPG with um, making babies instead of making like party members or monsters or anything like that. That's as far as I could tell. I'm sorry. Interesting. So Brian's gonna have to stay away from this because it has children in it. Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right. Is it, does anyone else have anything about conception or we good? Well, I think was wasn't that made by Spike Chunsoft as well? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Yep. So now you're interested. Well, Whoa. I don't uh, want to pretend, <laughs> <laughs> but I am a guy who wanted to import Senran Kagura and Monster Mon Piece for obvious reasons. I thought that was going in. The obvious there. reasons being the lovely <laughs> gameplay. Um, <laughs> yes, the, yeah, the lovely big gameplay. boobies or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> He's given my secret away, but. <laughs> then again, that's a secret we're all keeping, so. Nobody has figured that secret. out. Secret. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> no, I'm not interested. So, yeah. next up we have uh, Lego The Hobbit, and it's confirmed for 2014, and I am not interested do, at all. Do we even know if that's coming to Vita? I saw that promo yeah, image that got leaked. And it... Oh, it is? Yeah. yeah. It's okay. Be- Lego comes to everything. And I'm not really excited either because, well, the console games are usually quite good, but then all the handheld yeah. games pretty bad. So well, yeah, the Vita version is always just a copy of the 3DS version, and it's pathetic. Well, <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking that they might have actually stopped making the Vita version because they didn't sell. But okay, yeah, I, you know, blame me and my ignorance. It Wait, we will cost them like two pennies or something to do. So. Mm. <laughs> TT Games actually make a Vita version, or do they just make a 3DS version? Ho! Ho! <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> we could probably make an impotent joke about that, but I'm not that mean. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, so one of the biggest news uh, for a game releasing is Persona 4 Dancing All Night, which was announced by Atlas a couple days, or, yeah, a couple days ago uh, on their live stream. Not a lot of pe- people were too happy about it, but there is some people that might enjoy it. Uh, are any of you guys in- interested in this dancing game? I was expecting Yuki to be interested, because, you know, the Risei Shibi Avatar. Yeah. Well, Jonathan, well, uh, he is sick today. Sadly, he's not here again. But yeah, we're going to have to watch him uh, get well soon. Yeah, get well soon, Jonathan. But he liked uh, a few rhythm games. He reviewed them for us. Uh, check them out on the site. Uh, I think we discussed Project Diva F, and uh, well, DJ Max he reviewed that earlier. So, if it's good, then he will probably like it, and we might see a review from him. Well, to be fair, it's being made by the people who made the original Project Diva games on the PSP. Yeah. Did this sound like my voice cut out? Because that wasn't my voice cutting out. That was just my, my words stopping prematurely. <laughs> 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 A little insecure I, there, Ben. A little weird. Yeah, yeah you're, giving, I, um, you're giving Tyler a little of editing work. I, I can, I can, I can talk about, um, I can talk about Monster One Piece and Stan Kagura boobies just fine. But as soon as I start talking about Project <laughs> Diva, that's when my voice cuts out. You don't have the right rhythm. <laughs> oh God! No, not at no one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where, did, where did I hide that nuke that I need for special situations? <laughs> uh, it's around here somewhere, surely. <laughs> I'll give you his address, don't worry about it. Thank you, <laughs> But, uh, yeah, it's being made by the same people who made the Project Eva games on PSP, so, you know, there's, hopefully there's something good there. So. Something. Something. 
Well, yeah, it, 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 it might, might as well be used kneecap would have a great texture and then the rest of the game's shit, but 5 out of 5. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm so not too, that's... Yeah, I'm not too ahead, excited Jeff. for it either, but I do think that um, Persona 5 will probably come in a sort of updated or handheld version to the PC. So, Yuki yeah. says he has something. Yeah, he wants it. Oh. up. <laughs> Drum roll. While, while Yuki's typing, I'd just like to say that I also think that Persona 5 will make it to Vita, or at least some sort of handheld, um, just because of the fact that every Persona game has made it to the Vita as a portable remake or, you know, e extended version, whatever. Um, yeah. I, I think we're going to see it no matter what, whether it's close to release of the original game or not, that's kind of up in the air. Yeah, well, just just for, yeah. just for context, the, the sorry, <laughs> the the 3ds is getting a sort of Atrium Odyssey like game, which is called Persona Q, and then PS PS3 is of course getting Persona 5. Well, and I yeah, we get a dancing game. Woo! Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, we kind of got shortchanged on that, but I was thinking, do you think Atlas could make Persona 5 remote play with the PS3? Well, that, yeah. what we were going with all these crazy predictions, I was actually going to say uh, my crazy prediction is that Persona 5 will be the very first Gaikai game when Gaikai is rolled out for the PS4. How much oh. you want to bet? I don't Ooh. think it's going to be that late. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're both coming year. out in 2014. Yeah, I know, I but it's supposed to be end of year. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't like calling you wrong or wanting to call you wrong, but I'm an Australia, so... Gaikai will not come over here, so I, you know, I just want you to be wrong. I'm sorry. Well, but that's because you're <laughs> not in Canada, and Canada's the center of the earth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I think usually um, Persona, they're, well, behind on technology. I mean, Persona 4 released on the PS2 when the PS3 was already out, so I doubt something like that will happen. Such a well, title will be the starting point for Gaikai, so... Uh, I doubt that. Well then, so you have the last one here on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> okay, I guess we don't have anything else to say to some P4D all night. <laughs> I'm sorry, what did you just say? <laughs> P4D. I, I'm sorry, I thought you were referring to someone's dick, and I'm like, what the hell are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh. All right, let's <laughs> let's let's move it along. Um, <laughs> recently releases and some game updates we have next. Uh, Tearaway is now out, and you can uh, get the demo. So if you're on the fence, uh, pick that up. And we also have an interview on the site with uh, James Spafford. So find that up on the site. Uh, Spelunky also got some daily challenges updated into the game. So you, I believe, everyone has the exact same level and you have to. You only get one shot at it. So, yeah. so yeah. If you have Spelunky, or if you don't, it was one of my game of the weeks a couple episodes back. Uh, you should go grab it. Uh, also, PlayStation Mobile is launching in the new regions of Belgium, Denmark, Finland, Ireland, Mexico, the Netherlands, yeah. Norway, Sweden, and New Zealand. So, I'm sure Jasper's pretty happy about that, right, Jasper? Uh, I have... yep. <laughs> He went to yeah. type something and then just, like, backspaced it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, also, what were you remember... going to say, Jasper? <laughs> <laughs> well, remember the big news, Tyler, that just well, released a few minutes ago. Hint, hint, Are you zone. gonna... Are you... Okay, Jasper, you jerk. <laughs> I was going... I was letting you talk about your PS Mobile stuff, and then I was gonna bring up Killzone next. You big jerk. <laughs> So you don't want to talk about the PlayStation Mobile coming to your country? No, nah, who cares? Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, oh, that was I guess nice, Jasper, Jasper doesn't care. It's funny because our readers couple... care. <laughs> yeah. And, and we're a launching episodes, a whole you... PS Mobile initiative. That's the funniest thing about it. Good lord, Jasper. <laughs> now nah, I'm very thankful for PS Mobile right. coming. <laughs> now, <laughs> now you're yeah. oh, now. There it is. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, as Jasper teased and spoiled, 
uh, Killzone Mercenary got some DLC. We can all play as girls now. Um, well, it's not like you need to. But... <laughs> <laughs> there's DLC. So, uh, <laughs> I'm going to keep uh, referring there's... back to your avatar until the end of time. I'm sorry. Um, get out. Okay. <laughs> and we never <laughs> heard from him again. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's, uh, let's talk about this Killzone update. So, first of all, there's... It's coming out in waves, I believe, so there's going to be three updates coming, um, starting with update three, because there's already been two, which will um, reduce the size of the other patches, so it will make your memory card be <laughs> more useful, because oh, yeah. um, we all know those are way too expensive, so this is always a plus to have them give us memory back. Uh, um, <laughs> what? I, I have no idea what you're talking about, Cradle 64 gigabyte memory card. <laughs> <laughs> I just did a Wait, side you... gag for an audio recording. I feel horrible. <laughs> oh, God, I got a cough. <laughs> All right. What um, was that? <laughs> I had to cough. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> so update three should be coming in a few weeks, so look out for that. Uh, followed by update four, which is due out in January, and it has been designed to improve matching and help reduce join game connectivity problems, as well as adding an auto team rebalancing feature. Oh. Um, what? I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm gonna stop interrupting. I know, but auto team balancing is like the bane of my existence in Killzone right now. The amount of times I've been putting up against three people by myself and still managed to win. <laughs> but crapping myself at the same time is extremely high. Yeah. Yeah, it happens a lot. I hope they... I don't know if that includes, like, actually being able to join in a match with your friend, because Kyle and I play Killzone a lot, and every time we play, we never are on the same team, and we always want to be. You, um, and it's frustrating. You guys want to add me? I'll play some Killzone with you from time to time. Yeah, yeah, yeah we will. Stop the podcast right now and start playing? What do you think? <laughs> yeah, we <we're laughs> All right, yeah, all right. Okay. Really <laughs> <good. laughs> I'll just everybody. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all right well see, this was uh the vita cast episode six uh we'll talk to you guys later kill zone here we come no okay so <laughs> and we're done playing kill zone welcome back to part two uh, <laughs> nice very well added in all right so uh following that update we have update number five which is a pretty big one uh Two new multiplayer maps for free, and the release of an offline bot zone for mercenary and guerrilla warfare mode. So that's pretty cool. So I guess we're going to have some free maps, which is always a plus. But no, no war zone support for the bots. You'd think it'd be easy, wouldn't you? I mean, just just make it so that the bots go for the, um, the vanguards a little more often, or in that specific phase, and then you'd be done. Yeah. But... Maybe that's... Maybe that would just took too much time or something, because I could see that being an issue. Oh, wait, um, no. I bet I can guess what it is. The, I imagine they won't get the bots to drop Valor cards because it'd be too easy just to grind Valor cards from that. Yeah, that, and probably they wouldn't be able to do like the interrogation mode. They wouldn't know to sneak well, up on you and They could do you. that. Yeah. They could do that. You could program them to do that, but if they start dropping Valor cards, it'd just be an easy way to grind up some extra money. True. Yeah. Who knows? There's there's probably multiple reasons why they're not doing the that mode. Who knows? Maybe it'll come later. But. After uh, update five, I guess there's four updates. I counted wrong. <laughs> uh, the f sixth and final update that we know of is uh, pretty big because it kind of confirms another thing, and that's uh, adding support for Killzone Mercenary on the Vita TV, which is basically saying that Vita TV is coming to the West, and that's pretty cool. So if you've been wondering about that, that's kind of confirmation. Uh, you guys have anything to say about this? Um... Yep. I'm, 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 I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I am. Um, I'm just. Go ahead. I'm thinking about how many ways I can throw the Vita TV out of the window. Uh, but <laughs> you don't like it? Well, it's just it's it's so weird. The concept still baffles me. Uh, let's walk. Let's walk through it. What baffles you about yeah. it? What baffles you about it? Let's, let's <laughs> do an intervention here. <laughs> an, in, an intervention. So this is Brian. Good. Um, by the way, Jasper, Tyler, what are you talking about? Uh, <laughs> They're talking in chat again. I'm starting to feel left out. <laughs> I think it's the whole kill zone thing. When <laughs> yeah, I was trying oh, to talk about PlayStation yeah. Mobile. But, um, well, it's, it's just odd because not supporting the touchscreen means that there's like a few dozen of the good Vita games aren't really supported by it. So 
Yeah. Who doesn't? Well, is that money good for you to gain? Oh, am I going? Am I going <laughs> to have to stab you too? This is just going to be a bloodbath. <laughs> uh, yes. uh, uh, yeah, that's okay, a good question. Okay. Yeah, I got. Um, I got. I got no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what are you confused about, uh, Ben? Yeah, it's just basically the games that, su that support nothing but touch and all that not being supported by the Vita TV, and there's a lot of them. So. Well, when well, you when they add support for it. Brian, I'm talking. I'm sorry, please I'm shut sorry. up. <laughs> when, when they add support for the DualShock Four, they'll be able to add more of that support with the touchpad on the DualShock Four. I am. Um, I'm sorry. I just had the weirdest mental image. Um, <laughs> no, here's the thing. I'm looking. Can at, you stop looking at my picture? I was about to say that's what it's related to. I'm looking at Skype, and Tyler is just. Um, Tyler's avatar is just giving Brian's avatar this, just like this look off to the side, and I'm thinking they're acting like an old married couple. And Tyler constantly <laughs> telling Brian to shut up, and Brian's looking straight forward. He's like, "Pay no attention to him. Pay no attention to him." <laughs> oh jeez. But I, okay, I'm done. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Anyone else have anything to mention about Killzone update? No, I so think I it's really rad. Here. <laughs> yeah, I hope yeah. the maps will be good. Uh, yeah, it's not, yeah, it's not like we broke that news on the Vita cast or anything that DLC was yeah. a threat. Uh, who asked that question? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just expecting you to change your avatar now, so it's the same avatar but just mirrored, so you're giving Jasper the evil eye. <laughs> That's how it is on my I stream. <laughs> I think Tyler and Ben need to launch an avatar cast once a week where they just talk about each other's avatars. I should get a new avatar, I just chose a random one. I don't even know what it is anymore. It's like I, am, I, I can't really tell some green haired guy riding what looks like the big oh, yeah. monster. Oh, yeah, right. It's a, it's a character from, from Fire Emblem. I usually oh. don't pick those anime styled characters, but just this one time. Is okay. this Fire Emblem oh. game available on PlayStation Vita? Well, well no, Brian. <laughs> uh, 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 we don't uh, care. Uh, <laughs> doesn't like PlayStation Mobile, starts poo-pooing on the man of good games on Vita, and now he has a Fire Emblem avatar. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I haven't heard my from picture. him again, either. Okay, uh, you guys can't see it, but Tyler has now changed his avatar to a picture of him kissing himself. Um, <laughs> not really sure what's going on there, but it's kind of creeping me out. It's like a super effect where you flip an effect and then just stick it next to each other, and now it looks like he's looking both ways. So not not only is he making out with himself, he's, look he's looking at Brian and Jasper with those lustful eyes. Also, that um, that picture is still really conspicuous about whether you're a man or a woman. So <laughs> it, that that didn't help your situation at all. I'm sorry. Okay, fine. I'll find a better picture. Hold on, give me a second. Not only that, those hats kind of look like a bra. <laughs> <laughs> well, I changed my picture too, but I don't guess anybody cares. <laughs> well, I, so this is I the avatar features. cast. <laughs> Oh, and by the way, just while he's changing his avatar, Brian, I've got no idea what your avatar is. It's me. Brian. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this caricature. Mystery solved. It's really well done character of him, but still, it's like it could have been anybody and I wouldn't know. Kyle, if I'm, if I'm correct, Kyle is like um the protagonist from Persona 3, only in black and white. Yes, sir. Right, yeah. and... Basically, um, my avatar. Look up Rubber Dugs. Oh, actually, no, that's um, that's a different <laughs> avatar. Look up <laughs> Dugzilla anyway, because that's awesome. But yeah, my avatar is basically the world's largest rubber duck. And then the head. Yeah, just, just the head. Just the head. Now everybody can sleep tight. Yes. You know what our avatars are. This one's for Kyle. I I can't even right. imagine. Um, oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, his persona so he, cosplay. Um, uh, Jasper changed his avatar to um the Fallout kid and yep. the fall not the Fallout kid the um the Fallout guy what's Boy. his name Vault Vault Boy Vault Boy 
Yeah, and yeah. Tyler now is an avatar of a few emo teens with guns to their head. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a reference. So that, that's that's basically goes. how he feels right now. So. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're <laughs> he, just going to keep... point a gun at your head. Just watch out, okay. he'll call his bear sauna and then you'll be frigged. <laughs> Alright, this is not going to help my case. This was like seven years ago. Wait, you think... actually dressed up as that. I did actually dress up. That's oh. me and my girlfriend at PAX Prime. Or not oh, PAX, uh, Comic Con. I see a healthy relationship. <laughs> <laughs> at least they're into All the right, same we weird go. crap. <laughs> wow, you, your sister's beautiful, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> I wish this you guys could see this, because this is hilarious. This is <laughs> it's like duck face. <laughs> oh, God. Well, duck face with bangs and a mullet. <laughs> like natural right. duck face. It looks like a duck face, but he doesn't have his lips pushed out or anything, so it's like <laughs> duck face and like not duck face at the same time. So <laughs> it's quantum duck face. Schrodinger right, duck let's, face. Let's, let's get yeah. back on track. Kids. Yeah, this okay, is hold on. funny. Let me, for us, let me change it to stupid. something normal first before I go anywhere. It's not going to be normal, is it? <laughs> it's going to be normal. <laughs> I promise. It's going to be tight. Right. That's We're still good. normal. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. We've talked for like 15 minutes about my avatar. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so. PlayStation 1 classics are now available through PlayStation Home on the PS3, and that's Destruction Derby, Warhawk, and Twisted Me- Twister Twister Metal. Someone <laughs> had a typo in this. <gasps> Twisted Metal. <laughs> Come on, you know there's that typo, but not Conception 2, know. Legend of the Seven. <laughs> there, let's where? What? I said Children of oh, the children, Seven. Children, Children of the Seven. You didn't notice the fact that there was like something missing there, and then no. yet you can figure out Twisted Metal. Has a type. So the interrupter is back. Um, <laughs> <laughs> also, um, I should have read this before we started the podcast. All it says is Black Friday deals listed. So there's some Black Friday deals that are listed somewhere. <laughs> so if you know where they are, go find them. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is the interactive type of podcast that they expect you to do yeah. after work yourself. <laughs> One day exactly. this is going to be like one-sided podcast where there's one guy talking and you expect to talk along with him. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, if, I don't know where those are. I'm assuming probably stores that have deals will probably have those. Well, um, yeah. like eBay, eBay has like a $150 beta. I'm pretty sure Amazon has like a $170 deal with um, Sly Cooper, Uncharted, uh, Retro City Rampage, a 4 gig memory card. Um... I think that there's a PS4 slash Vita bundle. Wow, you're pulling a Jasper. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, no, that wasn't all that I was referring to. I was referring to that one in the UK where it's like you pay like 700 pounds for a, a, a yeah, Vita. That's a not PS3. what we're, we're going to talk about at all. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm like, glad you uh, clarified that one. Uh, just, uh, okay. There's a PS4 Vita bundle inbound. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> an official. <laughs> the one sale at game for five ninety nine ninety six, and yeah, yeah, you get a bunch of stuff with that. You get the PlayStation Four, like if you said, the PlayStation Vita, the Wi Fi edition, but you also get Knack for PlayStation Four, Lego Marvel Superheroes for PlayStation Four, Little Big Planet for Vita, Tearaway obviously for Vita, and you get a sixteen gig memory card for Vita as well as a fourteen day trial for PlayStation Plus. So it's a pretty yeah. good deal. Pretty good. Yeah, that's that's. A really good deal. Yeah. <laughs> As for that uh, Black Friday deal, I just uh, found the post here. It's just uh, listings from different uh, actual retail stores that they're having sales. So Best Buy is having a sale on all PlayStation Vita systems for $169.99. Uh, GameStop is selling the PlayStation Vita 3G and Wi-Fi bundle, uh, $179. Target is selling all PlayStation Vita systems for $179. Uh, Toys R Us and Walmart too. They're all uh, 179. So if you're gonna get one, go to Best Buy because it looks like they're ten dollars cheaper. Um, nice. Also, we have the PlayStation Plus deal on this Friday. So uh, at select uh, retailers, you can pick up a year of PlayStation Plus for only 29.99. So that's a good idea. Also, Sweet. um, I j- 
just want to point this out because I've just got an email and a Twitter about it at the same time. Uh, Dragon's Crown on Vita is on sale for like thirty dollars on the uh, US PlayStation Network. You should go pick that up. Yeah, it's a good game. Yeah, if you haven't already. All right, so okay, now, <coughs> that's... let me find a way to wrap that back around to Tyler's avatar somehow. I'm sure I can figure it out. <laughs> All right, we've okay. We've been recording for an hour now. I'm gonna be doing a shit ton of editing after this. And you'll just be sending me the uncensored file so I can put it on my channel because that's what I'm exactly. gonna do. Exactly. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that after right after we're done recording. Cool. Thanks. <clears throat> All right. So up next we have some listener mail. Go ahead, Kyle. All right, we've got quite a few here, so uh, bear with me. Um, here we go with uh, Lester again. So. Be ready for the book. <laughs> Hello, TVL. It's your favorite verbose editor back for a third installment in a series of books. Seriously, I'm sorry that my emails are long, but I'd like to give you an idea of what was what it was that brought me to my question. Ask the question, then give my two cents about it. I'll definitely try to shorten them up for you guys, though he doesn't really. I was about um, to say, that was a really long explanation for something that didn't need to be explained. Yeah, <laughs> just just wait for it, wait for it. Um, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> I just got the amazing Spider-Man game for Vita, and I'm very impressed. Despite some frame rate issues and obviously downgraded graphics, the game has been playing great. Open world, free-flow, Batman-esque combat, crawling on just about every surface, quickly web-swinging from one point to another at the press of a button. Thus far, it's been the entire console version on our favorite handheld. This amazing feat made me wonder, why in the world don't they make a more traditional Arkham game for the Vita? Don't get me wrong, I understand it was set to co-release with the 3DS version, which, as much as I like my 3DS, played some, or placed some obvious limits on the, what the Vita version would be, and I enjoyed my time with Armature Studios' Blackgate and their Port of Injustice, though it has its own issues. But web-swinging through Manhattan and plummeting from the top of a building onto a mugger is just so awesome. So why couldn't Batman do it? Even though Blackade is a fine game, I find myself to be a, to be more than a little depressed in it because I can imagine something that could have been, and here's the game that proves it can be done. So that made me wonder, what's your biggest Vita disappointment in terms of unrealized and squandered potential? Wait, Personally, what? Yeah. I'm sorry, that went completely off the rails to what I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> like, would you expect him to be asking... Like, did he ask two questions in that one letter? He asked, <laughs> sort of. why hasn't there been a more traditional Arkham game for the Vita? And then he said, what's your biggest disappointment? Why? <laughs> what? I think they sort of tie into each other. Did I, I miss they, something? Yeah, they, they, they sort of yeah. do tie in, but yeah. He, he's well, I uh, think... giving us some more than one question here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry, think... I'm sorry. That was just me being an idiot. That was just the interrupter. So. <laughs> yeah. Here, I'll finish this and then we'll, uh, we'll comment a little more. Yeah, so uh, yeah, per yeah. he says, personally, he'd have to say all the Lego games. Um, he hasn't played Chima. He hears that's a good one because it was only made for handhelds or Marvel heroes. But Lego Batman 2 and Harry Potter years 5 to 7 left, left such a bad taste in my mouth. I don't want to try another game series in the series on the Vita. Especially since the first Lego Batman game came on the weaker PSP was basically identical port of the entertaining PS2 game, Sans Multiplayer. Well, crap. Uh, it seems I've composed another long email. Sorry, guys. Please go easy on me if you pick this question for your next cast. Unless, of course, it's hilarious. I can handle it if it's hilarious. <laughs> Thanks, Lester. <laughs> so let's rip Lester a new one. Um, who's up yeah. first? I'm sorry. Yeah, I I'm just, um, just, but just, um, Tyler's gone and changed his avatar to what appears <laughs> to be a dog riding a bike. <laughs> no, uh, it looks like a Diddy Kong. <laughs> yeah, it's a monkey riding a bike. It's me riding a bike in my neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Diddy Kong. He just had to change. Go on, that. Jasper. But I gave yeah, that okay, okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Back to the topic. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good fun. Um, yeah, I agree with Lester that the Lego games on Vita are really terrible. Um, I heard the console ones are quite good because some of them are more open, more open world style. But I played a few of the Vita Legos and I just got really bored. It's just uh, not really fun. And I also played the Chima demo on my 3DS, and I thought it was really terrible. 
so ugh, I'm not really too excited about that either. And for me, what's my biggest disappointment? Ooh, that's quite hard. Well, I think other people are going to mention Call of Duty, so I'll just mention something else, and I'll go with um, Resistance Burning Skies. Uh, because I thought the Resistance franchise was quite interesting. You know, you have aliens. Aliens are always fun, right? But it turned out to be a really shitty shooter developed by a subpar developer. And, yeah. Hmm. Not so great. <laughs> Can I just point something out? You thought the China Terrible was terrible. Uh, the, the China Terrible was terrible. <laughs> China's gonna have me banned from their borders. You thought the Chima, the Chima demo was terrible. The Chima was the one that was actually made specifically for 3DS and Vita, so that must have been horrible. <laughs> Chima, Chima, whatever. <laughs> I, I actually think that's the best of them all because I it's the one that actually looks like it was made for the Vita. Like the graphics are good and it runs right. But I mean, if you're not into it, you're not into it. <laughs> yeah. Um, is that all you got, Jasper? Well, I just pulled the monologue there, so I think yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, so I I agree with uh, Lester about the Lego series. There's been I've been <laughs> burnt quite a bit with those games, and that's why earlier <clears throat> when we were talking about Lego The Hobbit coming, I told or I said I'm not interested, and it's because they announce it for all the platforms, but then they make the Vita version just crap. And it's getting annoying, and I'm spending way too much money on these games because I've I've bought uh, the Harry Potter game, I've bought the Batman game, and now I've bought the Lego Marvel game, and every single one of those is not fun. <laughs> but <clears throat> uh, my biggest dis disappointment would probably have to be the Lego series because I've just been burnt way too much on that. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, yeah. God. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I just want to comment that, uh, again, Jasper steps on my toes and mentions Call of Duty as his disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> also, I'd like to mention that I really don't give a crap about the LEGO games, so you can keep those or take those. I really don't care. Um, but as for what's the biggest uh, Vita disappointment other than Call of Duty, um, I can't really say, like, th there's a lot of stuff that's missing, and I would say that's the biggest disappointment of of all um, games oh, like yeah, sure. State and uh, Resident Evil, stuff like that, that we don't have, um, is the unrealized and squandered potential, as far as I'm concerned. Um, as for Black um, or, um, Batman Arkham Origins Blackgate, uh, that's why I avoided it, was because it was a torn down version. And after playing Spider-Man, I'm glad I did, because that is really... Uh, the superior of the two, according to me, um, despite the graphical issues. I think I'd have more fun with it. Uh, yeah. Blue Maxima, what do you think? <laughs> um, oh, wow, first time you've actually referred to me by that. Um, <laughs> it's taking you this long. I said, call me Blue Maxima, like, before we even started recording, and, like, they haven't even bothered but, um, <laughs> Anyways, Ben, can you continue, please? Yeah, because you always well, interrupt us. <laughs> yeah, Benefer. Come on. Benefer? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, uh, well, here's the thing. The thing about Call of Duty and Lego that I feel kind of invalidates them for being a correct answer to this question is that we kind of expected them to suck because the portable iterations of Lego and um, the Call of Duty game, which we saw a trailer of and looked pretty crap then, we were expecting them to be shit, so they're not really that big disappointments. Uh, yeah, but they had the potential to be good. Well, and yeah, I but I'm... That's... I, I, Hmm. Yeah, well, that was the question. All right, well, I'm just so. going to go off on a different... I'm, I'm going to go off on a different... You just got served. What the <laughs> hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> he needs to stop changing the, the his avatar while I'm talking. It, it, it just <laughs> freaks me out. But, um, but anyway, I'm going to go off on a different tangent and block his avatar from view. And I'm going to... I've got two games that I can think of. One's an actual Vita game, and one's a PS Mobile game. The PS Mobile game would be Gun Commando. Did you guys ever play that? No. No. Well, nope. bas basically, <laughs> what they were claiming it was was a like a, a revival of games like Wolfenstein and Doom and Duke Nukem with the 2D art style, the simplistic 3D levels, the um 
but they were trying to hype it up as like a successor or a, like a, a, a loving tribute. But it didn't turn out anything like that because at least in games like Wolfenstein and Doom, the weapons felt different. There are lots of secrets to find. The levels were interesting. The AI wasn't rock stupid. The gun commando was, what the hell is that? <laughs> and also Brian's going to change his avatar as well and he reminds me of Shia Lemieux. But um, that's amazing. But yeah, um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, gun. <laughs> <laughs> Something wrong. <laughs> uh, Go on. Couldn't be any worse. So yeah, Gun Commando just turned out oh, so right. disappointing because it was so boring to play. Couldn't you move? Yeah, just it was so boring to move. The gun only fired like one way. The AI was really stupid. The levels were so boring and blocky and silly. So it's just massive disappointment on that part. Then, for the full game, a game that totally didn't live up to any potential it had whatsoever was Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation. Hey, I'm I just like waiting. That. that, yeah. Uh, uh, that, uh, what? I've got to stop looking at the computer. It's... <laughs> stop changing your ass up. <laughs> What is wrong with my avatar? Uh, I know it sounds like Ben or Blue Maxima is actually making the, the issue here, but it's actually Tyler. Tyler is the troublemaker, <laughs> so I just want to note that. <laughs> yeah. like and I'll edit that out. I'd call yeah. Hans. But, um, I just want to throw in that Assassin's Creed was quite a fun game. Well, despite the thing. your thing. <laughs> I, I disagree, because I played Assassin's Creed 2 and Assassin's Creed 2 Brotherhood, or Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, or whatever you want to call it. And I was, like, really itching to get my hands on Liberation, because the story was actually interesting in Assassin's Creed 2, and the gameplay was fun, it was nice and smooth and responsive, and, of course, you didn't have to put up with a freaking Persona system. Then you come along to Assassin's Creed 3, the story is uninteresting and really not presented that well, at least that's in my opinion. The Persona system is an absolute waste of time because it takes away from the actual bloody assassinating. You have to run around and go and find stupid posters and you can't run yeah. around in the costume to let you do all the best stuff because it just like you, it just won't let you run around and do it because you get spotted right away so you have to stick in like the slave outfit and then there's the technical issues and glitches like I took so many screenshots of technical issues and glitches I had to delete them all because they were taking up like 100 meg on my memory card and then it was just it's uh, god I can't I can't begin to imagine all the problems with that game I was so disappointed yeah. alright we should have uh, moved to Brian before we rant too long yeah I'm just gonna mention the first thing uh, really quickly about Batman um I can't speculate as to why um, they chose not to port Batman as they did Spider-Man, but I will say that they are, they are published by two different publishers, and you have to remember that Activision loves money, and Activision may not care about the, the porting quality necessarily of their games on another system, whereas WD, uh, w, sorry, WB Games is a different animal. So keep that in mind, and just understand that different companies have different agendas. Um, for the topic of most disappointing game, I'm going to go off a little bit and say I'm more disappointed by the EA sports genre in general. Um, it's sad to see uh, such an opportunity squandered with all with Madden, with FIFA, with potentially even NHL hockey on the Vita. Um, we saw the PSP as a grounds for a lot of great portable sports games, and all we're basically getting is the launch sports games of Madden and FIFA with new players every year. Um, I think it's a big hole in the PlayStation Vita's library, and it's something that is really disappointing to me as a gamer. Um, most people consider... You either consider yourself a gamer by playing all indie titles or more game-centric games uh, other than Call of Duty and sports titles, but I'm a gamer who plays everything, and I would like to have an actual sports title on the go. So, yeah, it's disappointing for me not to have an EA sports game on the go. Yeah, I agree with that completely. Yeah, I can understand <laughs> that point of view. That's That's good. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Uh, is that all we got for this uh, Lester's uh, paragraph? Unless Yuki wants to chime in. <laughs> I think. Oh, he did say uh, um, Epic not Mickey. Oh, and not oh. enough manga games, he said. Uh, sorry, hentai games? Is that what the kids are talking about? 
<laughs> no, those well, are never disappointing. Can... That was in the bank. Girls or something. Imagine the possibilities though. A hentai game with a rear touch touch screen on the front and all those buttons and the gyroscope? Like imagine what you could do with that. And the camera. Possibilities are endless. <laughs> it reminds me that um that that ad that like Sony, like one of the Sweden bits that Sony put out where it's like um a woman with the two breasts on the front, two breasts on the back. Oh yeah. That was French, And then though. someone someone went on R slash gaming on Reddit and put up a picture that was like um Nothing but a woman and absolutely covered with random breasts, and she's like, "Am I sexy now?" <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I remember. All right, uh, we should probably go to the next one. We're making this podcast run pretty far. Who, so, uh, who I cares? <laughs> I'm sorry. Who seriously? Who cares? No, nah, it's, uh, it's fun. It's also Attitude. Like Twenty minutes. Yeah. We we we. We've had two hours. It's only one hour and twenty minutes. It's not that. Not even that. Says everyone that doesn't edit the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was probably going to end up to twenty minutes. But Tyler, do your job, or I'll whip you. <laughs> oh God, you know what? It's your job to continue this uh, mail. So why don't you get to it? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'll just sit here quietly. You guys ready? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Hmm. <sighs> Anyways, <laughs> yep, that's now that it's me. my decision, um, <laughs> here's the next, right, go ahead. The, next, go ahead, uh, the next email. Um, Hi guys, my name is Jack Gall and I'm 18 years of age. I bought Tearaway on day one and let me tell you, it's amazing. It's the most special, unique, and diverse Vita game I've ever played and it's a shame many Vita owners that I know don't want to play it. Do you think Tearaway is the best Vita game of 2013? If you do, why? Thank you. That's pretty succinct. So, what do you guys think? Hmm. Yeah. Um, um, can I go first? Go ahead. Yeah, I can go one. first. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I've only played the demo so far, but why I think I think it's shaping up to be the best game. It's probably the best game just from what I've played. And why is that it's really unique? And... Um, yeah, I really like the papery graphics. Uh, uh, if you haven't really seen much of their way, which I doubt if, you, if you're listening to this podcast, um, it really looks like the world is made of paper and it looks so good. It gives me a great feeling of nostalgia. Um, the only thing with it is that it's eh, sort of short and doesn't really have any well, tangible gameplay. It's more of an adventure. But I like that. It's it's just completely different. And also with the paper craft things uh, that you can make uh, in the real world that ties into it, I think that's great. And, well, originality is the reason why it is. I mean, for example, if we've had Killzone, and it was a very solid game, but we've had very similar games in the past, so it wasn't really anything new. It was just a reiteration of something good. And that's why I think Terroi is more interesting and probably the best VT game of 2013. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, nobody type 3, but I think... Uh, <laughs> so that's just the, that's just the thing I'm, I'm doing. They have this system where they're like, they, what the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're talking about Terroi. I was going to be Stop testing. doing that! <laughs> <laughs> Tyler's head is the sun they, now, basically, from there yeah. away with his head beating. They have, a, um, <laughs> they have this number response system where they type in the, um, the numbers of who wants to respond first. So, like, if someone types in one, they go first. If they type two, they go second. Every time someone types two, I just immediately type four. <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> works. I type two, so I go next. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It, it works okay, so before time. I even start... <laughs> okay, Jasper, you're doing your best Ben impression. We get it. Um, <laughs> um, so before I even start talking about what I think about Tearaway, I'm going to tell you guys a little story. Um, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you may have seen me tweeting quite a bit on launch night for Tearaway. Um, because the night that Tearaway launched, I believe it was the 22nd of November, another console, which will go unnamed, <laughs> Xbox One, um, launched as well. And it launched to a midnight launch. So in my area, there were no tearaway midnight launches, understandably, considering a giant console was coming out. But that didn't stop me from going to my local future shop, which is a giant uh, electronics retailer in Canada, 
and basically like Best Buy, and lining up with all the other Xbox One fans and waiting for Tearaway. Um, I waited in line for maybe about half an hour, and I listened to people talking about how, about how excited they were to play Reese because it's going to be so much like 200, the movie, um, which I thought was <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> Um, but when I finally, finally got inside the, when I finally got inside the store, um, the employee t- turned to me and says, oh, where's your receipt? And I told him, well, I don't have a receipt. He, then he said, why are you here? I said, well, I'm here for Tearaway. And he goes, well, we don't, what's Tearaway? And I looked at him shocked and he goes, do you mean DOA as in dead or alive? And I, I don't know. I don't know what they're teaching their employees at future shop, but I was turned away because one, they didn't, they said they didn't know what it was. And two, they said they were only accepting xbox one pre-orders so that's my little my little anecdotal Ooh. story but yeah i know it was pretty crap but um going to I did the same thing you did the same thing how did it turn out for you i actually got it well <laughs> you, okay. oh and brian <laughs> god just didn't like you that's all yeah probably I, I even went in the next day to pick it up i went at abm when the store opened and i got there and i was looking at the shelf there's no tear away and i say well sorry can i can i get tear away and they say what's that for i said for vita they go they started laughing i said why are you laughing they go, well, for, it's for vita uh, and i said well okay well this is a game by media molecule the people make little big planet and it came, it came out today they had they had all the copies sitting in the back warehouse and they hadn't even bothered to put them out yet so yeah. i don't know what's happening with feature shop especially in Etobicoke, Ontario. Um, but yeah, it's like so, they're not the future of gaming. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but going to th- talking about what what I thought about the game, actually I got my hands on it after, sorry, after I got my hands on it. Um, I will say this. Tearaway is not a perfect game. It, it, it absolutely is not. But it's the perfect game for the Vita. In the same way that the Vita inspires Tearaway and the gameplay and the visuals of Tearaway, Tearaway itself inspires the Vita. It, 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 there's no game like it in the library for uh, for any platform. It's one of those rare games that seems specifically made for the platform. It, it, I would put it on par with Halo for the original Xbox or Super Mar- to, uh, sorry, Mario 64 for the N64. It um, just feels at home. Yeah, go ahead, yeah. Ben. I, I was just going to say, Halo wasn't originally made for the original Xbox. It was made for Macintosh. Yeah, PCs. it was made for... Well, it was originally made for Mac, so... So oh. I, I, I had to point out that flaw in your logic. Maybe the interrupt. Sure enough, but, but, <laughs> the thing, but the, the, by the time that Halo had been gone through the development that it had gone through and gone from a third-person shooter to a first-person shooter, it was made to launch with the original Xbox. But, well, yeah, no, and, it anyway, was also I, an RTS at one point, which is odd. Yeah, So, but my point is that like, eventually it just felt at home on that console. That, that, that's the point I was trying to drive across. Um, yeah. But no, I, I love Tearaway. I, I, it's one of those games that makes me cherish my Vita. It reminds me that this is a platform that is special and that can't be emulated somewhere else. We were talking earlier about TT games and the Lego series. Uh, we see lazy ports, but there's no way you could port uh, Tearaway to another console. It just wouldn't feel the same. But that's my opinion. I agree. Excellent. Fair enough. So Ben, you, you like to interrupt. Why, why don't you interrupt me now? Um. Oh, shit, it's my turn. <laughs> Yeah. But no, nobody typed a three. I yeah, well, the, I guess Yuki <laughs> could answer the chat then. <laughs> All right, so, okay, yeah, the answer, uh, the question was Tearaway, best game of 2013. I'm sorry, I was just, um, actually, no, that's rude. So I was, um, I was playing Tearaway and, uh, damn it, Yuki, uh, I, I was playing <laughs> Tearaway and I was enjoying it, and I, I did enjoy it pretty much all the way through. However, the, 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 the I can't talk today. The the best game of 2013 being Tearaway, it's um it is actually very likely, but I'm having a very hard time deciding between Killzone and Tearaway because both of them excel at what they try to do. Tearaway excels at being a very unique experience. As Brian was saying, one of the most unique experiences the Vita can possibly get. Meanwhile, you Jasper. Meanwhile, you've got <laughs> Kill, Killzone Mercenary, which is trying to be a console quality FPS experience, but on the Vita, and it does that really well too. And I'm thinking, well, I, I just I can't pick between the two of them because both of them do what they do so well. It's hard to um just you know pick one over the top of the other. What about Angry Birds? <laughs> People are giving me shit that, that's, for that's, that. <laughs> Yeah, that's the best three games. Um, They're giving you shit for what? 
people have been giving me shit non-stop for buying Angry Birds Trilogy. <laughs> people have been giving me shit for it non-stop. It's I just like, like interject up. there. <laughs> I just like to interject there and say <laughs> go, that go for the record, my copy was given to me by the publisher, so don't rag on me for buying uh, Angry Birds. <laughs> well, I don't I, want I, your ragging. <laughs> Well, I tried to get on the bloody Rovio to actually get a copy, but no, they they wouldn't talk to me. Uh, that's because you have to call Activision. <laughs> you, you have Don't to give away the them? secrets, okay? It, it, it's it's an Activision published game, and Rovio really had almost nothing to do with it, apparently. Ah. Uh, well, so you need to shut up your uh, watchers and just buy the Star Wars version. <laughs> well, still, I just that was for them. How'd you get onto Activision, by the way? Uh, All right, actually, that's probably a really inappropriate <laughs> question. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Let, let, well, let's how, move how on to this? who is Can number. I, yeah. Who is number five? Kyle is number five. Four, 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 four five. Four point five. <laughs> <laughs> We're skipping over Jasper because I'm taller than him. Um, oh. But anyway, <laughs> I just like to say that uh, well, Tearaway is. A very good game. Um, I haven't got that far into it, but but I did play the demo uh, extensively, and I'm about two hours into the main game. Um, I think it's great, but I, I still have to say that Killzone Mercenary is the number one for 2013, um, just because even though they're both great in the core game, um, Kill, Killzone Mercenary is going to be the game that I come back to. Uh, I don't necessarily see Tearaway being a game that I'm going to be playing in a year, so yeah. Can I um? Can I just ask you something? Sure. You oh. said you only played like two hours of Tearaway, right? Yep. Right. Well, um, the thing is, a lot of people I've been hearing a lot of people say that they like Tearaway a lot better after the first two hours. So if your <laughs> position, let me just say this: if your position changes when you finish the game compared to now, I called it. I don't think it will just because of that replay issue, um, but it could. You never know. Replay issue? Yeah. Well, yeah, there's yeah, no like replay value, really. Being able to yeah. come back. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, I would like to interject there and say that, um, well, possibly some of the greatest games I've played of, um, well, don't actually have any replay value for me, uh, like Bioshock or Half-Life. So that would not trouble me, and I understand that it troubles you, of course. But I think well, we all I game all differently, to... Jess. Yeah, we all game. That's why. That's what I said, Brian. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but <sorry>. I think. <laughs> yeah, I I think that um, why why Killzone doesn't win it for me is because um, I very much feel that I like it more than um, than I otherwise would if it were on console because it's a Vita game. Because uh, I feel if it were on console. It would just be a generic first-person shooter, but now it's a generic first-person shooter on the Vita, so I must have it because it's on the Vita. And well, I feel good about that because it's fun, but it's nowhere near the originality or creativity that is Tearaway. See, All I, right, I let's don't not get into a work. Killzone versus Tearaway thing, though. <laughs> we can talk for hours about that. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> uh Going with his question about Tearaway, what we've all been talking about for the past half hour now, <laughs> um, I think it's a great game. I've played more than <laughs> the first two hours. Um, I think I'm like 50% done with the game, and I don't know if that includes like all the collectibles and all that stuff, but I'm getting really close to the end. Um, but I'm really liking it. I don't know if it's the game of 2013, but I think it's definitely worthy of being in that conversation and giving Killzone a run for its money. Uh, but you guys have pretty much nailed everything perfectly about this conversation, so I think we should just move to the next email, because we still have another email. <laughs> All right, moving on. Uh, last email here. Still going strong. I have a podcast question for you. Do you think the Vita is failing in its potential as a portable first-person shooter machine? The PSP was often criticized for having only one control stick, making the idea of good shooters on it somewhat impractical. Now the Vita is out, it's amazing, has two sticks and two touch interfaces, but only Killzone Mercenary really grabs the bull by its horns. We're otherwise left with Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified, Resistance Burning Skies, and awkwardly remapping Star Wars Battlefront 2. 
looking through the lists of upcoming upcoming games, I don't see, seem to see any FPS titles. What are your thoughts on why FPS seems to be such a neglected genre on a device, on a device that is otherwise perfectly suited for it? Owen McNamara. So I can't talk, but what do you guys think? <laughs> um, yeah, I think I don't think it's failing, but I think it's it has the it's lacking the potential of being a great first person shooter machine. Uh, you know, Killzone we all know is really good, and we all know that uh, Call of Duty and Resistance are not. But I think because of Killzone, it's going to show other developers what the Vita can do and what happens if you actually take the time to work on it correctly. And I know nihilistic, the developers between Call of Duty and Resistance, seem to be rushed. So, I mean, I'm not blaming them too much, but uh, they didn't really make a good game. And it's obvious no one really liked any of them. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, uh, <clears throat> this is gonna, Killzone's going to give... Uh, developers out there the understanding that the Vita can handle it and I think it's just going to take some time before we start seeing more but I feel like there's a few coming so don't worry about it. <laughs> For me it's a bit of a chicken and the egg thing. Um, you're right Nihilistic did have a rushed schedule trying to get resistance out but what it comes down to is this if you're a developer and you're looking to make an FPS and you you have to look at target audiences um, you, you can either release on the PS Vita or you can release on a home console. And on a home console, you know that, that the first-person shooter audience is there. And while the potential for good first-person shooters may be there on the Vita, the audience may not be. And I believe that Killzone Mercenary proves that uh, FPS works on the Vita. It, the sales prove that there's an audience, and now we're going to see whether developers follow suit. Um, I think it took a good FPS to start the, the trend, and now we can truly judge. Um, it, for, yeah, basically for me, it just comes down to audience. <laughs> Thought you were gonna continue. <laughs> well, I'll go. <laughs> Sorry, I was putting I was putting on my pants. Sorry, guys. Oh, 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 come on, that's not that funny. That you just stopped. <laughs> we're, we're just all, we're just all wrecks at the moment, people. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Ben. Why don't you take it from here then? Well, I'm number oh. four. Jazz was number three. <laughs> number four. <laughs> oh, I need excuses. Oh, my bad. I forgot. Yeah, yeah. Go uh, ahead, Jasper. Well, I, I, I think yeah, there's some wasted potential, of course. Uh, were we going to get Bioshock at first? Uh, there was an announcement made, and Bioshock is a first-person shooter for you that are unaware. But that was sort of well put on hold. They haven't even started development yet, so I think that's a giant waste. But at least we are getting Borderlands 2 next year. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, maybe Borderlands 2 is great, don't get me wrong, but next year is a bit late. I mean, I think that 99.9% .9 of people who want it already have it. But I'm going to get it, of course. Um, yeah, I think there could be more first-person shooters, but yeah, yeah, just one or two more good ones would be really nice. I think there's more wasted potential in games that also use these two analog sticks. You, do you understand what I mean? That I mean, for example, we have we need a bit more open worldish games, like the home console Lego games. <laughs> and number four. <laughs> no, Kyle is pie. <laughs> Oh, my bad. Oh, I didn't Go I fast. didn't know if you're going to recognize that or not. Um so anyway, I'll jump in. Uh Killzone Mercenary really does a good job uh as you can see from my review. Um but really I think uh until you get the main um FPS genre like titles um onto the beta, I don't think there's going to be that much um, you know, uh in, in independent uh property coming up that's new as far as uh first person shooters just because like getting into uh first person shooters and something unique on the vita would be something that somebody would look at after making their first like big game um figuring out how it works how the development process is going to go stuff like that so I, of anyone really gorilla cambridge is like the next um big person to look at as far as F fps games um, aside from Killzone or Killzone, if they're going to do another one of those. Um, but 
everybody else really they've done such a bad job or have jumped out like with nihilistic that for somebody to do it right now the only thing that we're going to get is something that's you know battlefield call of duty the standard fps games so until somebody you know does their first game like that and can continues on to do something else unique um or even comes back for a second game, uh, I don't think we're going to see uh, some good FPS titles other than uh, the core games. Yeah. I would ben? agree with that. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> FPS games on the Vita, I will admit it's a little bit disappointing not to see more coming out on it, but I imagine that a lot of people would still be wary even after um, Call of Duty and Resistance came out. But the one thing I want to point out is that we don't have that many third-person shooters either. And the PSP was actually really, um, really filled with third-person shooters. And um, the Vita doesn't have as many as the PSP did and probably won't for a while. So I'm just... I, I don't know exactly what the thought is that I'm trying to form here. I never do. But <laughs> it's, it's, I, I'm just thinking, like, maybe if more third-person shooters come out on the Vita, it might... Um, introduce some more first person ones like uncharted was pretty good unit 13 was pretty good and the game wow. i'm going to recommend wink 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 <laughs> is, is a third person shooter as well but I, I'm, I'm just thinking maybe if we get some more third person shooters that might encourage some devs to make some first person shooters because they see how um how well the analog sticks work but there is one thing though you know, Zipper Interactive closing down after making Unit 13, which might turn some yeah. people off making third-person shooters for the Vita, which is a little bit disappointing, but, well, uh, that's pretty much the thought I was going to make. Maybe if we get more third-person shooters, we might be able to get a couple more first-person ones in as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I... Well, I think, yeah, we'll definitely be missing third-person shooters, too. I I would disagree with you. I thought in Charlie and Unit Thirteen weren't all that great, but I see your point. Um, I don't know how third-person shooters would link to an increase in first-person shooters, but all right, we we definitely well, need more of both. Um, I, I was just gonna. Say, I'll I'll tell you what I mean. The the analog sticks link into um work the same way in first and third-person shooters. The the right stick moves the camera, the left stick moves the um the player. So it's like you you show that you can do a good shooter with twin sticks, no matter if it's first person, third person, or even something like Geometry Wars. You just want to show that these sticks work well enough to actually um, make games that work around them, like first person shooters, third person shooters, whatever. Yeah, I think Killson quite showed that, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well. <laughs> Looks like that's all we got for that topic. Unless there's something else someone wants to throw out at us. Um, well, I'd like to throw something at someone, but that's um, it's unrelated. <laughs> so. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's uh, let's move it along then. Uh, so, up next we have our game recommendation. Uh, so our special guest here, Blue Maxima, is going to talk about his game of the week. Go ahead. Well, it isn't so much a game of the week as is a game that I would like to basically tell everyone to go play. And by the way, the only reason I'm doing it is because these guys said they were too lazy to think of something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's going he's gonna to yeah. edit that out. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's gonna, this is going to be um, my the Vita. The, this podcast is going to go up on my channel, and it's going to be called the Vita Lounge: The Untold Story. <laughs> but but anyway, the game I'm going to recommend, if anybody knows me at all, they know exactly what I'm about to say. And the game I want to recommend is Earth Defense. Angry Birds. <laughs> oh, EDF. 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 Yeah, EDF. <laughs> God, Angry Birds. Just every time, <laughs> every time someone says Angry Birds, a vein pops out on my head. And I want to punch <laughs> But... Yeah, so Earth Defense Force 2017 Portable. It's like if you gave Japanese people, if you gave a Japanese game dev a low budget and said, make me a game like Starship Troopers, Earth Defense Force would be the result. It's basically a game where you go through and shoot giant ants, giant spiders, 
giant robots, mother ships, and all sorts of silly craft and animals as you go through several different levels, upgrading your gear, upgrading your health, and it's got four flag co-op, and it is the purest form of arcade shooting that I absolutely love. Your only controls are dodge, fire, move, and aim, and, well, swap weapons. Those are the only controls you have. It makes such a pure and smooth experience. I absolutely love it. I love it. Absolutely love it. Nobody else is going to talk. Nobody else is going to take the opportunity to interrupt me. Nobody Put another shrimp on the barbie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, I have a qu- I have a question about EDS. Can sure. you find paper craft to create in real life based on the enemy? <laughs> <laughs> if not, I'm not interested. Just to be honest with you. No, but I'm sure you can go out and you know get bitten by a spider and that'll be that. And that you can turn that into Spider-Man. And that that's yep. amazing. And the amazing Spider-Man. It all comes together. <laughs> this is so odd. But you have nothing to say. I'm I'm surprised. Yuki has just said, is it an RPG in turn based? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Am am I willing am I really going to sleep that I'm holding? Go back to sleep, sleep Yuki. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, okay, well Lord. I've never played it, so I I did attempt to buy it. Okay, so um, you're number one on the stabbing list. Kyle, have you played it? <laughs> no, I have not played it. Okay, number, number two, two on the stabbing list. Right. <laughs> Please don't be number three. Number three. <laughs> he's not answering. <laughs> I think he's grabbing his pants. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't aware that I was even called. What, what happened here? <laughs> <laughs> you, did you call you. me Bree? Was that my name, Bree? Did you say Brian? No I, no, I know a guy who calls himself Tribo Bree. But no, I was saying, please don't be number three on my stabbing list. Oh no, I wouldn't do that. Well, <laughs> have, you, have you played, so played? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I will. I <laughs> you, you convinced me. Okay, you're number three. Um, <laughs> so. Is this is it made by Adobe? What? <laughs> sorry, no, that's PDF. That's PDF. PDF. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're going up to number two. Say, say, why am I number one? Because I asked you first. I I said I want to try it out. I just, just haven't. Because of your profile it. pictures, your avatar. Yeah. <laughs> he secretly loves those pictures, so that's no reason to stab me. Oh well. All right, I'll, let's let's I'll move on. Let's okay. not get into the well, pictures. If we get back into the pictures, it could be a whole nother hour. Oh, cool. <laughs> that is that is true. Okay, so EDF is Blue Maxima's game of the week, so be sure to check that game out. I haven't played it, and I'm on the list to be stabbed, so I might have to play it. Uh, let's head over to the next thing we have on our topics of stuff. Gobble, gobble, gobble. You can tell he's looking for it. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, where did I write that down? Turkey. That's what that is. <laughs> that, okay. I'm, just, I'm honestly expecting him <laughs> to change his, um, change his avatar while I'm talking again. I'm just <laughs> waiting for it. Uh, so as I head to Google Images, um, let's talk about Thanksgiving, which is this weekend. So, <laughs> is that what are you doing? Shut up, me? Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to do a little thing here where we talk about our biggest thanks for the Vita and apparently our turkey, which is something we don't like. So I will start it off by saying that I am thankful for all the great indie devs that support the Vita and make it a wonderful platform to own with tons of options. Uh, My turkey is all the people that still complain that the Vita has no games because my backlog hasn't stopped growing. All right, I'll jump in. Um, my thing I'm thankful for is all the people that are promoting the Vita. So Shahid, um, you guys, uh, all the teams that are representing the Vita and getting basically the word out there. Um, and my turkey is Tecmo because they never respond to my PR emails. So. Oh, they don't. They don't respond to you either. <laughs> no, they're they're kind of uh, 
quiet. Let's uh, put it that like way. Kind of turkey. <laughs> yeah, they're turkeys. They're like you three. <laughs> so this year, I'm thankful for Tearaway. Um, big, su- big surprise. So for me, yeah, it's a game that the, def- the Vita desperately needed this year. And I know that Killzone Mercenary proved that SPSs could work on the Vita, but... For me, Tearaway proves that the Vita is a viable platform and can create unique experiences. Yeah, interrupt. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I thought I, I thought <laughs> I heard you say SPS, and I'm like, yeah, no. I, it, what's SPS? It's second person shooters. Um, <laughs> it's, a new, no, it's, it's a brand new genre. I'm so, yeah. You're just gonna trademark that right now. Yeah, no. I'm heading right now to, to trademark it. Yeah, you're right. And I didn't mean Moving to interrupt on. you. I just heard SPS, and I'm like, no, yeah, yeah. they're right. No. Oh, oh. Uh, um, <laughs> my turkey. Asshole. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Um, my turkey this year is TT Games. Um, I want to like you, TT Games. I want you to be on my next year's thankful list. But this year, with all your Lego ports from the 3DS, you've landed on my turkey list. I want to see an actual game made for the Vita because you make the best licensed games on the planet, um, there's nobody who can make a, a, a series such as Star Wars or Lord of the Rings and translate it to a video game format so seamlessly for families to enjoy. Um, but until you do an actual full feature version on the Vita, you land on my turkey list this year. Yeah. Okay, so oh, yeah. I am thankful for PlayStation Plus. Yeah, PlayStation Plus bringing great offers and, well... It doesn't cost all that much, and I've been enjoying all the free titles, so many games I wouldn't have played were I not to own PlayStation Plus, so I'm really grateful for that. I think, um, well, good examples could be games like uh, Thomas Was Alone, um, Mortal Kombat, uh, Jack and Daxter, and tons more. Uh, Wipeout was free. Graffiti Rush was free. Oh, sorry, sorry. You free. mentioned a, a game I've never heard of. What's Anton's Moor? What? What? <laughs> Anton's Moor? You mentioned a game called Anton's Moor. <laughs> what the <laughs> hell are you hearing? <laughs> <laughs> I've oh, never man. heard of that game. Did you just pop onto a different podcast without telling us? Like the 3DS podcast or something? <laughs> no, but he said Anton's Moor. Oh. <laughs> okay, you're number one on the stabbing list now. I don't know. <laughs> Brian, you've moved up. Okay, okay. So on my stabbing list, uh, I mean my turkey list. <laughs> is, uh, uh, what was it again? Oh yeah, uh, GTA, uh, San Andreas, GTA Three. They're coming to mobile, and they're not coming to the Vita. So the PS2 classics aren't on the Vita yet. And that really Ooh. irks me. Yeah, for yeah, those of you who that's... wanted to know, just today, um, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas was announced for iOS, Android, and Windows Phone. So, and not for. I, I mean, if you can play the game on a window, you should be able to play it on the Vita. Agreed. Yeah. yeah. I can't even comment. I'm having an. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Uh... Okay. Um, what am I thankful for this year? That's a that's a good question. I am Great thankful. Question. What the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're not thankful for Kyle. Kyle. No. Go on, tear your eyes away from my image and continue. All right. Well, Shut up. Okay, the funny thing is. <laughs> It looks like a little pair of balls. Was it? I don't know what he posted. It looks like some sort of um. It's a turkey. It's the turkey like bobble. Oh, oh god! I'm, I'm trying. I, th- I thought that was like a tree stump in the background, and I'm like, what sort of odd creature has balls hanging that low? That it's, it's <laughs> but um. Okay. What I'm thankful for this year, oddly enough, is what Kyle said, but in a different sense. I am actually very thankful for the um, Tecmo Koei in Japan, because... Japan? Japan. <laughs> I love that. It was, it was amazing. 
<laughs> There's like how many A's was in that Japan? Like four? <laughs> Japan? Shut up, it's the push room. <laughs> uh-huh. But um Indian. Uh, okay, but th- yeah, I'm thankful for Tecmo Kale in Japan because every major um Dynasty Warriors or Warriors series game, they have been bringing them to the Vita. They brought One Piece Pirate Warriors 2 to the Vita. That, except, you know, they didn't get localized by Namco Bandai. Fuck them, by the way. Um, <laughs> then, th- then they're bringing um, Warriors Orochi 3 Ultimate. Then they're bringing um, Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends. Then they're bringing Shin Gundam Musu, which is um, Dynasty Warriors Gundam 4. They're bringing all of them to the Vita in like a month. And then next year in February, Samurai, Samurai Warriors 4 in February. I'm really thankful for that because... Their support of the Vita is, like, I can't think of any studio that's been actually supporting the Vita better, and that kind of disappoints me. And I'm forgetting about Tuki Dan. We're probably getting Tuki Dan next year, right? And that's by Tecmo Kawe. So, yeah, I'm, I'm thankful for them. Their support for the Vita has been amazing. Yeah, if you and, release Dynasty Warriors on the Vita, you're amazed. Yes. <laughs> I, I admittedly I didn't even play Dynasty Warriors until like Dynasty Warriors next, and then I made it. I like I played ten minute, minutes of it, and then like that a giant light bulb appeared above my head. This is genius. But okay, what am I what am I hateful for? Well, first of all, Tyler. Wow. <laughs> you <laughs> keep changing cool. your avatar, and surprisingly, it's bloody cocky. I would like to see how many times you've said avatar in this podcast. <laughs> 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 yeah, you also got a very bad concentration span. I mean, it's like you're in the middle of talking, and then it's like, wow, and Tyler, <laughs> you know the Tyler's avatar has changed. Well, don't worry, I do it in my videos too. So you know, it's like everybody else gets to suffer. As... What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> How did you get that picture of Jasper? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jasper, I'm so sorry. You're a nice guy, you really are. But um, oh, the thanks, pics, I'm... But anyway, I, I'm, I'm gonna say this once a year, every year. I'm hateful of, hateful, not thankful. I shouldn't really say hateful, but Pinky Spot's leg massage. That game keeps coming <laughs> back to haunt me. I keep getting odd dreams and diarrhea <laughs> and. and <laughs> Whoa! Have you seen my video of it? Like, no. if you haven't seen it, go watch it because they literally use the word diarrhea in it, like absolutely casually. Like, nothing's wrong with using the word diarrhea. It's so out of place. <laughs> I think it's meant That's in the weird. sense that it's like rubbing someone's leg helps them with diarrhea. What? It does. It actually does. Exactly. That is that is that is as out of context as it gets in the actual game. Like, that sentence I said, rubbing someone's leg helps them with diarrhea. That's as bad as out of context as it is in the actual game. That's ridiculously bad. I just had, um, I had a recall there. What was, what was you, you repeated the same sentence twice. Yes, yes. I had, um, <laughs> I did, I did. What's the matter? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> it's too much. Sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to. But, um, okay, Echo, yeah, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> okay well thank you guys for all your thanks and your unthanks um if you would like to email us your thanks of the vita stuff feel free to email us at podcast at the vita lounge.net um you can find us all on twitter and i'm at mr ps vita reviews kyle is at teflon tactics brian is at brian g sharon Jasper is at J-A-S-B-Z. Yuki is at Yuki underscore W-R. And our guest, uh, Blue Maxima, is at Blue Maxima. So go check him out. Also, he's on YouTube, like we talked about earlier, his channel. So go subscribe to his channel. Um, and also, also, I'm just going to say this because I actually want more friends. Uh, my PSN ID is exactly the same as my YouTube. There you go. So Go spam. Yeah. Do you have to type it with an accent, or can you type it regularly as well? <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> what? Sorry, never mind. Anyway, Tyler, back to you. 
uh, you should also join the forum, which is uh, the VitaLounge.net slash forum. It's dumb, and... though. Yeah, didn't what? you say you're, a- you're actually, like, I'm um, resetting it, aren't you? I saw on the Twitter feed you're, um, you had to start fresh with the forum, so. Yeah, I was sort of whispering that my mic is really crappy, but I said, it's down right now. So if you're trying to, well, subscribe now, sorry, we're going exclusive. Yeah, great yeah. job, Tyler. You, you really screwed it up again. <laughs> Uh, so Jasper broke the forum, so we have to reset everything, guys. Uh, oh. So blame him if you're trying to get on there. It's gonna so be difficult. What's your avatar, Tyler? They broke and the good forum. thing I can edit all this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, let's continue. So yeah, like uh, Jasper was saying, the the forum is having some problems right now, so we'll get that going hopefully pretty soon, so you can get in back in there and talk to us. Uh, also join, uh, go like the Facebook page. It's You'll find it by just looking up the Vita Lounge. And I think that's it. Did I throw my hand in? Your hand in? Um, uh, I, uh, now that I think about it, I should word that differently because I don't know what I'm going to do with the hand once it's in there. But 